All right, you guys, so the, the way up is like hell. It's like going through rings of hell. And we need to talk. So, I think that at this point in my journey, I am starting to have an identity crisis because I'm no longer ill. And um, I get feelings of depression, feelings of weirdness. I think I've been having it all year where, you know, I was thinking it had to do with my illness, which some of it does. I don't think it helps, but a lot of it I think is also mental. And I think it has to do with not being as ill this year and the identity issues that come with that. As somebody who was very ill for a lot of years, it's really hard to not be. The other thing is I'm having a really hard time facing things in my life that I couldn't address because I was so sick. And it's very overwhelming, especially since like a lot of it is my own emotions and things that I've been dealing with. Like I'm... Um, you know, I have a parent, my, my mom is not, she's not doing that well. And I've just kind of put up with it for a long time. And it's like, as I've gotten better, it's like I'm, I'm more sensitive now. I just can't handle it anymore. And so that issue is really coming to a head and I'm reflecting on all these things. Like I think about my past, I think about how I've cut people out of my life a lot and, you know, just weird stuff, like really, really deep things are coming to the surface. And I'm just like, at a point in my life where I know I can't run from things anymore, I have to face things. And it's really hard to face it without, without binging. Um, I stopped binging a couple years ago or you know it's been almost three years but it's so much harder to be in a deficit and to be losing weight it's like on a whole other level of, of extreme it's like not only not having a coping mechanism but doing the opposite it's so much harder and again, because of the hormone work I've done, because of the things that I've done, I'm still like, you know, I can't binge anymore. I physically can't. I would have to really force myself to do it. And I'm not going to because who wants to throw up, right? I'm not going to do it. Even with this time where I've been plateaued, I've still lost another inch during this month, which is incredible. Um, but it's like, I'm stuck on this path. I'm moving forward, straight ahead. And I think that sometimes it's easier for people to think about a weight loss journey as something to just push through and to just willpower through but I'm going to tell you guys right now, if I hadn't done the hormonal work, there's no way I'd be lasting right now. Like, it's really hard. Um, losing weight in a lot of ways is a thankless exercise because it's kind of like the healthier you get, the more responsibilities you have, the more you have to take on um, in some cases, the more hate you get, you know, you have some situations where people will sabotage you or um, get jealous or you have things like that. I'm so blessed. I don't have people like that in my life. Um, and to everybody in my life, I'm so appreciative of you guys, everybody, everyone in my life. Thank you so much. Um, I think it's so important to have a support system when you're losing.
losing weight. You gotta find your tribe. Because it is just, it's so hard. But the, the blessing of it is I can see patterns. I can see things so clearly now. Um, the hypo haze is gone. I can see mistakes I've made. I can see missteps. I can remember how things played out if I did it wrong. And part of that is growing up, which, you know, my recovery is overlapping really with like a sort of coming of age time. Um, I like to talk about things with astrology. So any of you guys that are into that, I've, I'm coming out of my Saturn return and you'll know exactly what that means. But for those of you guys that don't know, it's, it's a very coming of age type of moment. It's the moment when you decide if you're going to grow up or not, which I'm doing, I'm deciding to, but part of that is breaking patterns and seeing things and facing things, you know, facing the fact that my mom is not well and addressing it and you know trying to get her to go to therapy and, and stuff like that like trying to get these issues resolved because I don't think I could address the issues my mom has as her son as well because I was so ill and I think sometimes there's a lot of guilt. There's a lot of guilt during this process because you you can't help but think about years that are wasted or ways that you could have stepped up that you didn't. Um, I think a lot about my ex. I think a lot about the dynamic I had with him and how selfish I was. I, I wasn't able to have empathy because I was so ill physically. And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. You don't even know. Um, and I'm no stranger to playing victim and stuff. Like I did that a lot when I was younger. And it's like, I have this ability now as I've gotten healthier to just look above it, you know, to look above the trees and see kind of the whole picture of stuff. And I don't have to judge everything as, you know, black and white, good or bad, evil, you know, for or against me. You know, I don't have to do this stuff because like I can see that some of the ways my mom is acting, it's not intentional and it's not malicious. And I don't think I had that ability because I didn't have empathy. I didn't have that much empathy. Uh, it was very muted. And that's really hard to like consider. Um, that's really hard to think about. But I have a lot of empathy now that I didn't before. And I still love fighting and stuff and I love being a bitch and all that. And I don't think that'll ever change. But to have the empathy aspect, it's really complicated. And, um, you know, and to even not just have empathy, but be able to share how I feel with other people in a way that I couldn't before. It's really difficult for me. It feels kind of gross because I think for a lot of time, as I've said, I've said it many times, but I've used my weight as a way to keep people away from me. And I think that that was very much a part of my ED. And I don't have it anymore. And I don't have that anymore. And some of that is amazing. Some of it is hard. Um, I've been addressing 
on my personal channel, I've been doing this like stuff where I've talked a lot about a past friend that turned enemy and really considering the things that I did at the time and part of it being the lack of empathy that I had at that time because I was ill. And it's, it's a really weird thing because I can so understand why people say BED is an addiction. I don't think it is. I still don't. But I, I think it really has a lot of parallels in the fact that it's a coping mechanism. Which addiction is a coping mechanism. But these aspects are so similar where it's like I couldn't, I didn't have empathy because I was sick because of my ED. And it's just really hard. It's hard to look back at. And as I'm going through such a huge transition, I am experiencing an identity crisis right now. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I have no idea what the future holds. I just see like a black hole. I feel very lost, listless, depressed, anxious, um, empty. I feel a lot of these feelings a lot. And, um, I am so grateful to be healthier. Um, but I didn't realize how much I identified with being sick. Like I kind of knew on an intuitive level, but it's one thing to intellectually understand something and it's another thing to be feeling it. And I mean like crying and all this stuff and looking at all the situations where I avoided things. I didn't deal with things. I let things fester, both my own feelings and even something like being clean. I wouldn't deal with the mess because I couldn't deal with it. I wouldn't deal with, you know, this unhealthy dynamic I've had with my mom since I've lived in Alabama. Not really. I would ignore it and I can't anymore. I didn't deal with my relationship in the way that I needed to. I didn't, I didn't ask him enough about how he felt and I, I didn't do certain things like that, that he needed me to do. And I always was reactive all the time. I was like a fat activist. I was always reacting, never, never thinking, always reacting always having a lack of empathy when you're so emotionally reactive you can't empathize with people it shuts it down and I just I'm healthier now and I see how dumb it is and I have access to these other aspects of my personality where I, I don't have to be so reactive or I can see above the issues or I can look beyond and I can see things clearly but that's a very sobering feeling and it's a feeling that has hit me with many tears and many regrets and guilt and all these different things that I just have to say and I know like you can't regret getting better because you're doing it as fast as you could have. All I can think is I'm glad I'm doing it now and not in 20 more years, you know? And I, I'm trying to be grateful. I really am. It's just hard. There's so many emotions these days.
but I, I just have to be real. Like, it's hard to face these things. And this isn't even the physical aspect. This is other aspects. I was looking into it, and a lot of people have identity crisis and weight loss. But I think right now it's, it's more so the fact that I'm better. It's like an overwhelming freedom. It's an overwhelming choices and these types of things it's really scary it's great though it, it's it's both it's a contradiction I can't address like I can't say that enough but yeah major developments of empathy major developments of emotional transparency and um, allowing people to be closer to me and not fearing it so much because uh, I have to because <laughs> I'm not going back Um, sometimes when I go through this, I fear that people won't be able to handle it. Um, that's why I do believe in preventing these issues. But I, um, I just have to say things because it's like, I, I need people to know this may happen to you. dealing with that identity issue right now. Um, and it's okay. I think I'm just changing so much. I think it's definitely for the better. I'm going to be okay. It's not a bad thing. It's just a lot. It's very overwhelming. Um, I will talk to you guys again later. One more inch gone. Still plateaued. That's another thing. I've been hella plateaued. But my body comp might be changing. So I'm not going to complain. And um, thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.